Skillets aren't just for sizzle and stir fry. You can use them to cook pasta too. Amy is showing us how this morning. Let's get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey, good morning, everybody. So you're wondering what to make for dinner tonight? I've got a great idea. This is something I used to order out at the restaurants all the time, and then I figured out how to make it at home. A lot less expensive and really yummy. I'm going to make chicken alfredo, and I'm going to do the whole thing in one skillet. I started out with a couple of boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I just diced up, and I'm browning them real quick in a big skillet with a little bit of oil. And it doesn't take long at all, just a few minutes. And I'm going to season them up with some garlic salt, some black pepper, or if you like it a little spicy, you could do some red pepper flakes, and just some basic Italian seasoning. And if you don't have that, you could just mix some oregano, dried oregano, and basil. Really easy. It's going to give that lots of flavor. Now to the chicken, which is all browned up, and I add a little more oil. Of your pan needs it. And I've got some gorgeous, sweet yellow pepper. Isn't that pretty? And red pepper. So good for you. Puts a little vegetable into the dish. And these just take a second or two to saute. I like them a little bit crunchy. Now I'm going to add a little bit of chicken broth. Quarter cup or so. And then this stuff has come a long way. This is just store-bought, you find it in the refrigerator section near the fresh pasta, Alfredo sauce. I always try and do the refrigerated kind. I think it's a lot better than the kind in the jar. Now certainly you could make your own Alfredo sauce if you wanted. Heavy cream, some Parmesan cheese. But when you're in a hurry, this makes life really easy. And like I said, I didn't used to like it when it first came out, but they've really made it pretty delicious. So I've got that Alfredo sauce in there, which is that wonderful creamy Parmesan sauce that everyone just loves. And the last thing I'm going to add, and if it starts to get a little thick, you can always add a little bit more chicken stock. Everybody's uh, store about Alfredo sauce, you know, might, you know, some are thicker than others, basically. Um, but I'm going to add some marinated artichoke hearts, which I love in this dish. And you can see it's already coming together. And it's just quick and easy, the whole thing in one skillet. This is just jarred marinated artichoke hearts. Now, I've boiled up some pasta. Any kind will do, but when it comes to Alfredo, I always think fettuccine Alfredo. So I've got some cooked, nice hot fettuccine noodles here. But as I said, any pasta would do. Bow tie pasta would be really great. Get some of that sauce. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. A little bit of fresh shredded or grated Parmesan cheese on top. Just kind of finishes off the dish. And a little bit of fresh basil too. See, I told you that was easy and it's so good. I gotta find a fork. Recipe for this is on our website. You can also pick it up at any festival foods. We'll be right back.